Okay, in this video, we're going to have a Dell Inspiron 3511. This may apply to other laptops, but we're going to show you how to do a fresh install of Windows 11 on that system. Sometimes these systems, when they come directly from the manufacturer, will be loaded with software that may bog down your system, and just doing a simple install won't clean that enough for you. And we'll show you how to start over from scratch. So the first thing we need to do is decrypt your hard drive. Dell and other manufacturers will put an encryption on your hard drive. Dell in this case used BitLocker on this laptop. Um, so we're gonna have to get into your system and decrypt that hard drive, which will allow us to write to that hard drive. So if you haven't done so already, you need to get into your system, start it up, boot it up, select the keyboard, select your language. And then once the system is set up, we'll go into it and show you how to turn that decryption off. So to disable the encryption on the hard drive, you're gonna go down to the start menu and search for encryption and then you're going to click on the device encryption settings and in here you will just simply turn off the encryption it'll take a few minutes for uh, the software to run and decrypt that hard drive but once that's completed we'll be ready to go next step is to go over and create yourself a windows 11 bootable drive um, you'll go to this link and the link will be in the description below as well um, you're going to go to this link and bring this up and it'll give you some different options you can do. We're going to go down to the second option, which is create Windows 11 installation media. Um, there is some stuff you may want to read before you uh, do all that, but you're going to download that. It's going to download in a creation media tool. You're going to open that up and create. Now this is going to run and create... Uh, a bootable drive for you. It's what it's doing right now. It's just going to go through. It's going to ask you to accept some terms and conditions. It's going to ask you to do a, put a USB flash drive in. Select the USB drive you're going to load the software to. And what it's going to do is it's going to download the, all the files needed and then it'll write it to your thumb drive and then that thumb drive will be bootable for you. And that's all you need to do with the with this part of it. All right, the next thing you need to do is you need to go get your drivers for a couple devices or adapters on your computer because when we load the operating system on there, the drivers will be wiped, including the drivers for the hard drives and the Wi-Fi card. So we're going to go over to dellsupport.com or you know, you can search for that and find whatever Dell support link you want to follow. And the first thing we're going to do is look on the back of your laptop and pull off that service tag number. Um, I know mine, so I'm just going to select the one I was working on before, which is a 3511, which we talked about. And we're going to go over to drivers and downloads. And you don't want to do this automatic thing. You want to come down to find drivers. And what I'm what you're looking for now is you're looking for two drivers. I'm going to show all. And the first driver we're looking for is the Realtek uh, 8821CE or RTL 8822CE. We're going to download that. We're going to save that. And then the second one we need to find is the Intel Rapid Storage Technology Driver. And what this does is it actually uh, identifies your hard drive because uh, this is set up in a kind of a raid setup um, so we need to download the driver for this now that we have those drivers installed we're going to extract those onto the usb thumb drive and i'll show you how to do that all right so the next step is to uh in extract these files from these drivers that you downloaded so when you click on uh, the driver itself it'll pop up this little window and all you're going to do is hit is extract put this right on our desktop so we'll go make new folder and we're doing the intel one so we're going to name it intel and we will extract the file okay so now we're going to go in here and we have our intel and our wi-fi folders created we're going to make a note somewhere about where the drivers are located in these folders. So I blocked this out so not to confuse you. So here's the Wi-Fi folder, production, Windows 10, 0, 
drivers, drivers. So here's your driver. So this is going to be the path on your thumb drive when it comes time for you to find that driver and load it. And I'll show you where the Intel one is. It's under Intel, Production, Windows. And it's going to be under Drivers and then VMD. And that's where the driver is for your hard drive. Again, make a note of this path um, so that we have it for reference later in the process. So take these two folders, copy them onto your thumb drive, and we'll get started loading it up. Okay, so now you're gonna boot up your laptop and you gotta get it to, to boot to that thumb drive. So you're gonna hit your F12 button during the boot up process. And what that will do is it'll get you into this boot manager, it looks something like this. You're gonna go down, select the USB device, and then it will start to boot to that USB device and look something like this. Okay, the Windows install process should start now. Um, just go through, click the menu buttons as you need, install now. So the, one of the first things you're gonna notice when this comes up is that, and you're gonna select advanced here, is there's no drives to be uh, processed. So uh, it's telling you, it's giving you a warning, hey, we can't find any hard drives to load this too. So you're gonna go down and hit load driver, hit browse, and then we're gonna go and browse to that Intel folder path that we talked about earlier. That via that via WM file folder, and you're going to load that top driver, load it up. It's going to take a few seconds to load that driver, and as soon as that's done, all your drives will show up. There they are. So go through, select the drive you want to load your operating system to. It's most likely going to be the larger of the drives that are available, and it pops up a warning telling you to uh, hey, you're going to wipe this hard drive, and just be forewarned. And now the Windows 11 is being installed. So now Windows is done installing and you're going to get to the setup screen. You're going to hit this screen right here. And what's happening here is there's no Wi-Fi adapter drivers loaded. So for some reason, uh, Windows 11 doesn't allow you to bypass this now. You have to do something here. Uh, you can't skip it. You can't do anything. And without those drivers loaded, uh, you're kind of stuck. So at this screen, you're going to hit the function 10 and shift so f10 and shift and that'll bring up a dos window you're going to type the word disk part here and what that's going to do is it's going to bring in a the, the disk part utility and then you're all you're going to do is list volumes and it'll list all the volumes on that uh pc and what you're looking for is that usb we want to be able to identify what letter that usb is um, you can see at the very one, last one here. Then once you have that, you hit exit. And now at the command prompt, we're going to use a, use a utility called the PNP utility. And we're going to type in PNP utility, add driver, then that USB letter that we picked up earlier, and then that path that we wrote down the, on where the Wi-Fi driver is on our USB drive. Press enter. Um, the y, you should see an indication that the Wi-Fi adapter loaded. Um, once that's loaded, there's really no, nothing, uh, there's no way to shut down a reboot. So we're going to type a command shutdown slash R, which will be a reboot function. And it'll reboot your PC. And once your PC reboots, you'll be able to join your network and complete the setup. Hope this video 